Hello everyone, it's me again, Steve Doji here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and this time we're actually covering the new DBS-18 Videl, as well as the Ultra uh, Super Villains in uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. I can't believe they actually really revealed this much about these characters, but um, yeah, I'm going to go through it now, and I'm going to use this translated version again, it's a rough translation, but it's the closest thing we're going to get to actually knowing what all of these things are. So, first of all, 18 and Videl actually do have two super attacks and one ultimate. So they're kind of like DLC characters of old where they do have two unique super attacks and one ultimate. They'll probably share super attacks with their older versions, I imagine, because obviously. Um, so yeah, Videl has one super attack, which is her combination move. And the other move was that slow homing key blast we saw earlier, as well as one ultimate attack called Justice Drive, so far from what I can see here. And 18 has the same with the uh, teleporting destructor disc, her key blast move that she could change the input of, and the Pendulum Bullet, which is the move that got stronger when she traded uh, the Key Blast over and over again with Krillin. I don't know if it's going to have a mechanic similar to that, because again, they don't say it here. But we're going to have to assume it works the same way. And the new thing with the Ultra Super Villains is the new missions. Now, again, rough translation, but what it says here for me is, In order to create the Ring of Time, few will cause a new change in history. Players will be, with Super Warriors, forced to fight, you'll be able to stop change against an enemy that is becoming extremely worse so i'm thinking with the way ultra super villains work in general they will progressively become more evil in the story as it goes on but here are the renders of ultra super villain vegeta and uh ultra super villain rose black right next to each other and they look pretty normal all things considered i'm surprised how dark the costume is but how much less dark the rest of the design is i hope vegeta does have his weird fake ultra ego like hair colors and eye color um, when you actually do play as him in-game. So far, it looks like Super Saiyan God Vegeta, but his outfit is really, really dark. Um, I don't mind that for Goku Black, because, you know, they messed up Goku Black colors in Xenoverse 2 when they added him uh, in his rosé form. But for Vegeta, I do hope he actually does have the Ultra Ego look um, in the uh, game, rather than only in the cutscenes. But yeah, um, I think they both look pretty cool. They both look nice. Um, no gameplay details yet so far, but uh, we know that obviously Goku Black is going to fight differently from the uh, Goku Black Rear they have in the game, at least based on Dragon Ball The Breakers, having a different idol animation for the uh, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, as well as having the uh, Scythe be a new move um, that obviously this Goku Black will have access to, because, you know, he's more evil. So therefore, he always has the Scythe rather than just having it only as a one-time use move. And yeah, I think that'll be it. I think that's a good place to end the video. If you guys enjoyed the novelty, you can please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe to greatly support the channel. And leave a comment down below as to what you'd like to see next. Love you all. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all next time. Take care and uh, peace.